The sun is up, but you can't see it as we're tracking dense wildfire smoke overhead. So it looks like it's completely cloudy, but of course not the case. We're just seeing significant haze and a significant impact to our air quality. This is our live look from the WKOW tower, checking out Madison's west, uh, west side, West Town Mall in the distance, Research Park in the foreground, and certainly very hazy as well. Because of that, we have an ongoing air quality alert, not just today, not just tomorrow, but through noon on Thursday. So the next 60 hours impacted by much, much unhealthier than normal air quality. In fact, we're in the unhealthy to very unhealthy air quality category today. That means everyone will be feeling impacts and everyone should try to limit time outside. If you are going to be out there for a while, plan on packing that KN95 mask before you go out, wearing that through the day as we have that dense wildfire smoke. This is all caused by ongoing blazes in Quebec, Canada. The smoke associated with that now drifting locally. You can see visibility falling as we have that dense wildfire smoke to track. Not low enough where anyone's going to see travel concerns, but certainly everyone is going to see that hazy, smoky horizon. You might even be able to smell some of that smokiness too. Two and a half miles visibility in Madison and Montello. Two miles visibility in Lone Rock and Boscobel. Now check this out. We're tracking the worst air quality in the nation right here in southern Wisconsin today. Air quality index between 150 and 200 is unhealthy, a code red, and we're at 179 in Madison, 160 in Janesville, 179 in the Dells, and 180 in Watertown. If you were outside all day, it would be the equivalent of smoking up to six cigarettes by just breathing in the air. So make sure to take precautions. Temperature wise, mid 60s now getting to the low 80s later this afternoon. And yeah, technically mostly sunny, but it's so smoky. You're not going to see a lot of that sunshine today. So here's what it looks like on future track. We have one dense smoke plume right on top of southern Wisconsin. And look, you can see the wind lines going back to the northeast and you can see the significant wildfires out of control in Quebec. The smokiness associated with that now overhead our region and we're going to see that dense wildfire smoke on and off through not just tomorrow, but even into Thursday morning as well. We're dry out there. Not great. We can use some rain to help our drought and to wash away that again smoky sky, but it's going to take a couple more days for that to arrive. You can see showers and storms over South Dakota and Nebraska. That's our next system that will arrive before the weekend. So we're mainly clear today, albeit plenty smoky as well. Getting us into tomorrow, computer model wants to bring a couple spotty showers. I don't think that actually happens though. I think that first round of rain likely fizzles before it reaches us as we have dry air in place, but likely a cluster of showers and storms will start to move in by Wednesday night or Thursday. Thursday during the day as well could get a couple more showers and storms to flare up. And I think over the next week we pick up around a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain, which would certainly help us out a little bit. Today, though, dry, warmer, smoky, up to 82, 60 tonight, and tomorrow up to 85 with wildfire smoke still hampering the area. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s. The rest of the forecast, best chance for showers and storms are going to be Wednesday night, Thursday and Friday with just a stray shower or pop up storm chance this weekend should have better air quality. So we're good for outdoor plans as we celebrate the holiday for the long weekend.